Hi everyone, welcome to class. My name is Jess and today I'm going to guide you through this practice. This class is all about love, so get ready to open up through your heart space and explore the Anahata Chakra. This is going to be a really self-loving practice. When you're ready, we're going to begin in a child's pose. I'll see you there. So coming into your child's pose, we want to have our knees just wide enough so the inner thighs rest on the outer edges of the torso. Bring your big toes to touch behind you and sink your hips down. Stay right up onto your fingertips. Begin to create space along the side body as you crawl the hands forward while grounding through the seat. Once you've found your edge here, relax the palms down. Soften the elbows and then rest your forehead down onto the mat or somewhere towards it. Observing this little cave we've created and allow the sound of your breath to resonate in this cave. Feel that gentle constriction through the back of your throat. Creating oceanic wave sounds with the breath. Our ujjayi pranayama. As you inhale, breathe in love. And as you exhale, breathe out love. Breathe in, feel that love reach into every little corner, nook and cranny of the body. And exhale, share that love. Let it beam out of you, radiating through your skin. Breathing in love. And breathing it out. Take a few more rounds of breath here, really feeling that love in every cell of your being. Remembering a time where you felt truly loved. The emotions that brings. Where you felt nourished by yourself or by another. And starting to relive all of that nourishment and love. See if you can carry some of those feelings and emotions through this practice and find as much love in every pose that you can. Take one big breath into that. And then exhale, let it go. From here, slowly rise up into your tabletop position, bringing your knees underneath your hips. Walk your hands forward while keeping your knees directly under your hips and melt your heart down towards the floor for Anahatasana, melting heart pose. You can stay up on the fingertips if you want to go a little bit further. Or if you're happy with the palms flat, working your heart down to the ground and just staying as you are. Take two more rounds of breath in Anahatasana. And just as the name of the pose suggests, melting heart, we're just letting our heart melt down towards the ground. Letting that love pour from your heart onto your mat. Gently press into your hands, draw the shoulders under for support and press yourself up. Walk the hands back to meet you in your tabletop and just begin to move in any way that feels really good. So you've got six rounds of breath here, just exploring sensation through the wrists. Give them a little warm up. 
through the spine, really articulate every vertebrae. You're welcome to take a twist, move into down dog, take any movements you would like. And make sure these movements are self-loving. They're kind and full of good intentions. Amazing. We have another two rounds of breath wherever you are. And then we're going to tuck the toes behind us, lift up your hips into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Begin to pedal out through your feet, melting one heel down, followed by the other. Begin to elongate through the sides of the body through this movement. Amazing. Rise your right leg to the sky, inhale for three leg dog. On your exhale, bend into your right knee, open your hip, but squeeze your right heel over to the left shoulder without the shoulders compensating. Come high onto your left tiptoe, shift forward into this high plank scorpion position. Imagine that toe reaching over your left shoulder like a scorpion's tail. On your exhale, shift back into downward facing dog, squeezing your right knee to your chest, but not shifting forward, just staying in down dog to elongate through the lumbar spine. Let's go one more of those. Inhale, rise the leg, bending the knee, opening the hip, shift forward, high plank scorpion, keep your shoulders nice and stable. Draw it back to down dog on the exhale, melting your left heel towards the floor, drawing your right knee to your chest. This time, carry the right knee forward, land the foot between your hands. Lower down your left knee, untuck the left toes, rise your arms up, finding Kali Mudra, all fingers interlock, except from the index. Breathe in to lift tall, engaging your left glute to drive the hip forward. On your exhale, add your heart opener. Really think of chest rising to the sky as though you're being prodded right between the shoulder blades. Ground firmly through that right foot. Take one more breath in. And on your exhale, let's balance out the spine by reaching your left hand forward, the right arm back into a gentle side twist. Stay for an inhale, elongating through the spine. On your exhale, reach the right hand towards your left knee, thigh, or maybe even the ankle, rising the left arm up into a little back bend with a funky twist. Stay for a breath in, engaging your glutes, protecting the lower back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, framing your feet. Tuck the back toes, lift through your back knee. Begin to walk the hands around to the left into a wide leg fold. From here, pigeon your big toes in, draw the heels out slightly and melt down towards the ground. Walk your hands forward, stay right up on the fingertips and then melt your heart down towards the floor. Relax your head and your neck. Think of the butt sticking up to the sky with anterior tilt. Breathing in, pressing through those pinky side edges of the feet and breathing out. Walk the hands back into center, breathe in, find your flat back, lengthen your spine. Exhale, draw your heels in, toes out and bend your knees. Rise up firmly into your goddess pose. So we want our knees on top of the ankles, toes in line with the knees, with the knees drawing out so you can see your big toes from your standing position. Bring your elbows to a bend, hold the thumb and index finger to touch for Gyan Mudra, our mudra for wisdom. Close down your eyes for a moment and embody this goddess pose. Really feel it in your body. Notice any areas you want to back away from. Why is that? See if you could go a little bit further. If there's any pain, of course, make adjustments. If not, try and explore any other sensation, whether it be pleasant or unpleasant. See if you can find love in this pose. Love for yourself, love for others. 
Breathe it in and breathe it out. Take one more round of breath. Exhaling. Release your arms down. Breathe in for star pose. Rise up. What a nice release for your legs. Bring your left toes to face the left. Bend into your right knee. Moving into warrior two. May need to lengthen your stance depending how your body feels here. Take one long breath in, flipping the right palm. Maybe give it a little reach forward. And on your exhale, move into reverse warrior. For this variation, we're going to come up onto our right tiptoes and bend into that knee. Option to also bring your left hand into a half bind around to the right thigh. Remember, this one is a side bend, not a back bend. So just make sure you're tilting back, staying streamlined in the pose, gazing to the sky, breathing in and breathing out. Take one more inhale. Lower down your right heel, gently cartwheel the hands down, framing your right foot. Land your palms firmly, round your spine, lift the front foot silently, step it back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in and breathing out. Rise up your left leg, inhale, three leg dog. Bend into your knee, open into your left hip. Keep your shoulders nice and stable in center, one in line with the other. Come high onto your right tiptoe, shift forward into that high plank scorpion again, trying to keep the shoulders in one line. Exhale, shift back to down dog, melt the right heel to the floor and squeeze your left knee to the chest, but stay in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, rise the left knee up, shift forward, high plank scorpion, breathe into it, lift your chin. Exhale, moving back into down dog with your left knee squeezing to the chest, the right heel melting. Feel that lengthening of the lower back and when you feel ready, step the left foot forward, land it between your hands, lower down the right knee, untuck the right toes. Rising up into Anjaniasana, find Kali Mudra with the hands. Inhale freely, engaging the right glute, drive it forward. On your exhale, add your back bend. Breathing in. Breathing out, maybe even go a little bit deeper. Your breath is always your guide. If there's any tension in the breath, maybe back away from the pose. Let's slowly rise out, reach your right hand forward, left arm peels back, so our palms are in one strong line facing the left. Inner thighs are squeezing, see if you can find a slight tilt of the pelvis, a lifting of the pubic bone. Stay for an inhale. On your exhale, reach the left hand towards your right thigh with the right arm rising. Again, find stability in that front foot. Enjoy this deep stretch through the right side. Lifting through the back of your heart. Breathe into it. Exhale with control. Cartwheel the hands down, framing your left foot. Tuck the back toes, lift up through the back knee. Walk the hands around to your wide leg fold, facing the right. This so I'm not sticking my bum in your face. I'm going to turn around and take my wide leg fold. But you just stay exactly as you are. For this round, clasp the hands behind your back, roll the shoulders up, back and away, extend through your elbows and drive your clasped hands forward, just working the crown of head towards the floor. Imagine opening a little hatch on the head and releasing any worries or stresses, give them a little shake out and then close off that hatch. Breathe in love, breathe it out. Bring your clasped hands towards your lower back, release the clasp of them. Inhale, find your flat back, lengthening up halfway. Pivot your heels in, toes out, bend the knees, rise up to goddess pose. When you're arriving goddess pose, elbows are squeezing in. We're going to move through it this time, so breathe in to rise the arms up into star. Exhale, sink back down into goddess. 
Inhale, rising to star pose. Exhale, goddess. Last one, breathe in, rise it up. And exhale, moving into your goddess pose. Perfect. This time we're going to draw our right toes to face the side of the mat. Reach your left foot forward. Bend into the knee and you should be in warrior two. Towards the top of the mat. Flipping the front palm, reach it forward, breathe in. Exhaling to reverse your warrior. And come up onto your left tippy toes here. Make sure your knee is still above the ankle with the option of right hand. Sneaking into that left hip crease. Enjoy your side bend as you breathe in. Filling the heart with air, fill it with love. Breathing out. Go one more inhale. On your exhale, seamlessly land your left foot down. Cartwheel the hands down, framing your front foot. Protract the shoulders, round the spine without making a scrape or a sound. Lift the left foot and step it into downward facing dog. Take three rounds of breath in stillness in Adha Mukha. Connect back to that oceanic breath. And rolling out your mat, coming down and dedicating this time to movement and to improving your mental and physical health. That is the most self-loving thing you can do so well done perhaps thinking now of one more thing that you can do that's self-loving today maybe journaling you could meditate make yourself a nice healthy meal give yourself a bath read a book Call a friend. What's self-loving to you? Let's lower the knees down. Take a moment in child's pose. Big toes are touching. Hips are sinking back. Hands are walking forward. Again, nestling down into comfort, into your little cave. Take a breath or two, just really thinking all of those lovely self-loving things we're going to do after this practice. And then just leave that to one side. Let's come back to the present moment. Pressing into your hands, lifting up into tabletop. Tuck the toes, move into downward facing dog. Let's rise the right leg to the sky. Inhale, three leg dog. On your exhale, bend the knee, open your hip, shift forward into high plank, scorpion breathing to lift the chin. Exhale, move into down dog with the right knee squeezing to the chest. Inhale, rise it up. Bend the knee, open hip, but instead of shifting forward, pivot your left toes to face the right. Step over your left leg with the right hand for a wild thing. Think of heart rising to the sky opening up fully breathe into it on your exhale take a gaze to your left hand reach the right arm forward draw your right knee up to meet your right elbow and then seamlessly pivot on the ball of the back foot land your right foot down top of the mat well done rise up into high crescent moon lunge breathing in Take a bend of the back knee, cactus your arms, lift your chest to the sky, squeeze those elbows to the side body. Inhale to rise up. Go one more. Exhale, cactus your arms, dip the back knee. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, open out warrior two. Flip the palm, reach it forward as you inhale. Reverse your warrior, maybe with that left hand sneaking into the right hip crease. Lifting the right heel, take a breath in. Breathing out to lower the heel, cartwheel the hands down, framing your foot. Three leg dog, inhale, rise the right leg to the sky. Move through your vinyasa flow, high to low plank pose. You could lower the foot, lower the knees, however you wanna get there. 
Find upward facing dog. Urd for Mukha Svanasana. And then exhale, move into downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Breathing out through the mouth, let it go. Rising your left leg, inhale, three leg dog. Bend the knee, open your hip, shift up onto the right tip toes, come forward into your high plank scorpion. Exhale, down dog, left knee to the chest. Rise the left knee up, open the hip, this time moving into wild thing. Pivot the right toes to face the left, drop the left foot over, lift the heart up, breathe in. Breathing out, look forward to the front of the mat, reach the left arm forward, lift the left knee, seamlessly land that left foot by the right hand, rise it up, high crescent moon lunge, power through that back knee, breathe in, bend the back knee, cactus your arms, exhale, inhale, rise them, exhale, cactus arms, dip back knee. Inhale, reaching up, and then open out warrior two on the exhalation. Flip the left palm, reach it forward, breathe in. Exhale, find reverse warrior, reaching those right fingertips into the left hip crease if you want the added bind. Lift up the left hip toes, find your side bend, breathe in. Exhale, lower the heel, cartwheel the hands down, framing the foot. Three leg dog, inhale, rising the left leg high. Moving through that vinyasa flow, any variation you took last time or adding on, maybe a little spirit dive. Find upward facing dog as you breathe in. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Exhale. Perfect, lower your knees to the floor. Swing the heels over to one side, lower the butt down. Swing the legs forward. Perfect. Okay, flexing those toes. Back to meet the shin, lifting nice and tall. Reach your arms up for Dandasana. And then we're gonna fold forward, drawing that rib cage in, reaching your heart towards the toes. Paschimottanasana. So once you can't quite reach any further, land the hands down, keep the heart pulling forward. See what happens to my lower back when I pull the heart forward? Yeah, we elongate through the spine, keeping it nice and straight and working on hamstring extension rather than spinal flexion. So really thinking of toes flexing back. If you find just as deep a stretch from up seated, then you can stay here. Wherever you're at, close down your eyes. Know that wherever you have gone is self-loving. It has good intention behind it. There's no ego. And just enjoy four rounds of breath. Walk the hands back just a little hands distance towards you. And while we've got our spinal, so our hamstring extension, we're now gonna find a little bit of spinal flexion. So come onto your fingertips. Begin to draw your heart down towards your knees, your chin to chest. And then send your breath into the back door of the heart like you're opening it up. Breathing in and around the shoulder blades, around the shoulder girdle, along the neck, along the spine. Feeling all those deep nerve ending stretches. And then rolling all the way up as you walk the hands back into a seated position. Well done. We're going to come down onto our backs. So when you're ready, just extending the legs forward, 
coming down onto the mat. Give your hips a little shimmy out. Bring your elbows into cactus, a little bend in those. Draw the knees in towards your chest. Take some little circles without using your hands so we can really massage into the lower back, the ridge of the pelvis, the sciatic nerve, the glutes. Really deep myofascial release here. And then in your own time, drop the knees over to the right. Gaze to the left. Close the eyes. Bring the knees through center and drop them over to the left. Gaze to the right, closing the eyes. Balancing out the spine. And a detoxifying twist. Let's make our way into center. Give yourself one big cuddle. Send yourself so much love. And then relax into your Shavasana, extending your heels out to the corners of the mat, bringing the palms to face up, opening across the heart and the collarbones and relaxing everywhere else in the body. Take a few deeper rounds of breath, just transitioning yourself into this moment, into relaxation, into self-love. Breathing in love and breathing it out. I'm going to allow you the opportunity to continue your Shavasana in your own time today. I highly recommend staying for another 10, 20 rounds of breath if you have the time. It's been an absolute pleasure guiding you through your heart opening practice today. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments box below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Please give this class a little thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's a very small act of kindness that helps me continue to share these classes for free on YouTube. Thank you so much again. Have a gorgeous Shavasana and rest of your day. Namaste.